An emulsion is not going to last forever, but it's our job as the cosmetic formulator to make an emulsion as stable as possible for as long as possible. And not only that, but feel perfect on the consumer's skin, rub into the skin in a timely manner, and leaving the skin feeling moisturized, but not too oily or too sticky. Without emulsifiers, we can't have our favorite lotions, creams, moisturizers, or even hair conditioners. What is an emulsion? An emulsion combines two ingredients that normally can't be mixed together, such as water and oil. We could mix or shake the two together, but this will only last a short while before they start separating again. So in order to keep the water-based ingredients mixed into our lovely butters and oils, we need an emulsifier. Beginners look at emulsifiers. There are so many different types of emulsions that we can talk about. And if you guys would like, we can get into more of that as we get later into this emulsifier series. But for now, let's stick with the basics. As a beginner, the type of emulsions I recommend you sticking with are oil and water emulsions. This is when you are mixing oil into water and it's often abbreviated like this. So if you ever see this, it means oil and water emulsion and specifically oil and water emulsions using all-in-one emulsifiers. All-in-one emulsifiers allow home crafters to make relatively quick and stable emulsions as long as you follow the directions. So here's a list of some of my favorite all-in-one waxy emulsifiers that I recommend beginners using. Rita Mulse SCG or Ecomulse. It goes by two different names depending on the supplier. There is also Emulsifying Wax. Sometimes you'll see it as Emulsifying Wax NF. BTMS 50, Olivum 1000, and Glycerol Stearate and PEG 100 Stearate, also known as Lotion Pro 165. Oil and Water Emulsions. These are the types of emulsions that most of us are using and see others making. This is when oil is the dispersed phase or internal phase and water is the continuous phase or the external phase. Basically, that means oil being mixed in the water, not water being mixed in the oil. You usually have more water than you do oil in an oil and water emulsion, but this isn't always the case. It really comes down to the HLB of the emulsifier. But this isn't always the case because there are some oil and water emulsifiers that don't actually have an HLB. You don't technically need to understand HLB in order to create emulsions, but it probably would be beneficial to know. Blending for stability. Even though Ritamols SCG is sold under the name Ritamols SCG or Ecomols, it's not just one ingredient, it actually contains a blend of ingredients. Combining a blend of different ingredients actually creates a more stable emulsion. So this is why it's beneficial to just go ahead and purchase all-in-one emulsifiers because the manufacturer has already done the work for us to find the perfect blend of ingredients to create a stable emulsion. And all of these all-in-one waxy emulsifiers that I've named off all contain a blend of different ingredients. Dealing with emulsion instability. So there are a lot of reasons why your emulsion might fail, but here I'll name off a few. You might have too many oils. So check the formulating guidelines of your all-in-one emulsifier and see how much oil they recommend. The formulating guidelines is always provided to you by the supplier you purchase your ingredient from. So wherever you purchase your ingredient, read the description. There might be some PDF files that you might have to click on and download, but they should be providing you with all the information you need to know in order to formulate with that ingredient. Some suppliers do provide more information than others, so it kind of can vary, but for the most part, they should give you a general guideline on how to use the ingredient. Sometimes it can depend on what oil soluble ingredients you want to emulsify that determines what kind of emulsifier you should use. Like if you want to use a heavy silicone base of oil soluble ingredients, then you would want to use a water and silicone emulsifier like Emulfix. I don't know if I said that right. You might need to add in a co-emulsifier or you might need to add in a polymer. A polymer is a great ingredient to help stabilize your emulsion, but it helps keep your emulsion thinner as opposed to a co-emulsifier, which typically will thicken your emulsion. So a polymer can help stabilize your emulsion while keeping the emulsion thinner. And I actually have an entire video that 
talks pretty in depth about polymers. It's my video all about how to make body milks for beginners. And you wanna to skip to the timestamp 2128 to learn more. So I'll have that video linked down below. So let's recap. An emulsion includes a dispersed phase and a continuous phase. An oil and water emulsion, which is the type of emulsions we've been talking about. Oil is the dispersed phase, which is internal and water is the continuous phase, which is external. The continuous phase is usually the phase that takes up the most space in the formula, and the dispersed phase is trapped inside of the continuous phase, and this usually takes up the least amount of space. So an emulsion is a combination of two emissible phases that are being held together. So remember, there are so many different types of emulsions and different types of emulsifiers. This is just a quick introduction for beginners who want to understand the basics of emulsions. Leave me comments down below asking questions so I know what else to address in the series. My next video will be an introduction to all of those all-in-one emulsifiers I mentioned and just talking a bit about those and I'll see you guys in the next one later. Don't forget to go over and check me out over on Patreon where I post two bonus videos every single month. So there is so much content that you guys can go binge watch over there just for $5 a month. And for $10 a month, you can get a small business shout out. So let's shout out the small businesses. Nature's Farm Girl, thank you so much. Also, everybody's links will be in the description box. Let's blend, hempygirl.com, thank you. Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, at Black Petal Beauty on Instagram, Owl and Lily on Etsy, zayalamore.com, I hope I said that right, embracebeautyessentials.com, at Stardust Bath and Body on Instagram, and that is it, thank you so much. If you would like a small business shout out, go over to my Patreon.